Hi, I'm Grace Para, and this is your Classical Pilates Stomach Series, the series of five. It's five exercises done right in a row, and you're meant to do them every day. You lie on your back to begin. You start with the single leg stretch as the first exercise. Bring both knees into your chest, curl the head up. If you have any issues with your neck, just leave the head down. Both hands go over the right leg, left leg extends to a high diagonal. Pull the right knee into your chest, and then switch. Both hands over the left leg, right leg extends out. Take the outside hand to the ankle, the inside hand over the knee, but not on the joint. Switch your legs, switch your hands. Outside hand to the ankle. Outside hand to the ankle, switch your legs. Switch, outside hand to the ankle. We do 10 sets of this. Your shoulders, your shoulder blades are just hovering off the mat. If you have any issues with your neck, or it starts to fatigue, or it doesn't feel good, you just drop your head, give yourself a rest, starts to feel better you pull the head back up make sure you're breathing with it there's no specific breathing in or out just do what feels natural and just make sure you don't pass out do two more sets here right and left one more set right and left take both knees into your chest rest your head take a breath look right and left stretch out your neck second exercise in the series of five is the double leg stretch Feet come to Pilates stance, you curl the head up, hands reach for the ankles. Arms extend up as the legs extend to a high diagonal. Make sure your low back stays anchored. Don't let the pelvis tilt, that doesn't feel good for anybody. You're gonna circle the arms around as you bend the knees in and you're gonna grab the ankles and that's your exhale. Inhale as you extend your arms and legs up. Exhale as you circle the arms, bend the knees in. This is a specific breathing pattern. We inhale as we extend. We exhale, bend in. We do 10 sets of this. This is four. We inhale and we exhale. Shoulder blades are hovering off the mat. We rest the head whenever we need to. And exhale, we pick it back up once we've had a break because we're building strength. Nice strong necks, nice strong upper abdominals. But again, don't lift the head if there's any counterindications, fusions, anything like that, don't do it. Let's do three more here. Inhale to extend. Exhale to bend in. Two more. Inhale to extend. Exhale to bend in. One more. Inhale and rest your head. Look left, look right. And fourth exercise, third exercise in this series of five is the single straight leg stretch. All right, curl the head back up. Extend your right leg to the ceiling. Grab as high up on the leg as you can, reaching towards the ankle. Left leg extends out. You scissor switch. As you scissor switch, you're reaching up on the leg, getting a nice hamstring pull. Think of your inner thighs hugging this imaginary center line so your legs aren't going out into wonky diagonals. Make sure you're breathing. You can think inhale right, exhale left, or vice versa. Or if you want to inhale for right left, exhale for right left. Do what feels natural. Just don't pass out. Let's do three more sets. Two more sets. Really think of the stabilization in the pelvis, navel to spine, low abdominals working. That's the last one. Knees in, head down, take a rest. Look left, look right, stretch the neck. Double straight leg stretch, fourth exercise. Hands go behind your head. Take one hand over another, just, just so I can say I said it. Curl the head up, shoulder blades hover off the mat, legs to the ceiling. Pilates stance or whatever feels fine for you. Both legs are gonna to lower to your working level. Don't let your low back arch off the mat. You lift the legs back up. Don't let the pelvis lift, okay? Keep the tailbone down. Both legs lower, both legs lift. No set breathing pattern here. You can inhale as you lower, exhale as you lift. You can reverse, you can do vice versa. You can challenge yourself. You can do five with one breathing pattern, five with another breathing pattern. You can slow the breath down. Just don't pass out. Breathe with it. Lower back stays anchored. Legs lower to your working level. If that is all the way down eye level, that's a nice. If that is just a couple inches, that's also nice. Keep shoulder blades lifted. Breathing with it. Let's do two more here. Inhaling to lower. Exhaling to lift. One more, inhaling to lower. Exhaling to lift and knees in, rest your head. Fifth exercise in the series of five is the crisscross. Um, only do this if you have a healthy spine. Head, neck, and shoulders curl up. Shoulder blades hover off the mat. You twist opposite elbow to knee as the other leg extends out, and then you switch. And you switch. You really think of the twist. Really try 
to get away from the feeling of just shifting your weight side to side, but rather really thinking of where that twist comes from with that back armpit really opening up. Inner thighs are still hugging an imaginary center line. Low abdominals feel very good right now. Try to keep the shoulder blades elevated as you come through center. Do three more sets. Two more sets, still breathing. Last set. And rest, okay. Well, should feel good after that. Let's do a cobra stretch. This is always good to do after a lot of tummy work. Lie into your stomach, hands in front of your shoulders. Lift your chest up, stretch out your belly. And you should feel very good about yourself for doing your series of five for the day. Now, go drink some water and get ready to do it again tomorrow. Okay, bye.